Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So for this week's mixed media, I thought we would have a go at making these beautiful little um, bags. Now these are like little gift bags that I've been making um, and they're made from recycled packaging and some beautiful napkins. This is one of my little word embellishments that we made from the Total Scrap series that I'm doing. And we've got a little bit of stamping on there, which I just think they are absolutely gorgeous and so simple to do. I've got one here, which I have got a um, beautiful blue flowery napkin on. And I popped a pocket on there with some tags in it. So that's a nice little vellum pocket um, with some tags in it. And you could make a little sort of notebook, a little journal to pop inside. Um, I've just got a little bit of ribbon on there. And this one I have just gessoed over it. I have have popped some little bit of lovely lace along the top bit. I've got some um, cheesecloth and then one of my little journal cards on there where it says roses and lilies. Um, and I just think they're lovely. And I've just popped a little bit of string on this one. It's the handle. Um, and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Now this is probably my favourite because I just love this. Um, which is gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how simple these are to make today. So let me just pop those to the side. Now what I have used is this, which is a packaging from Amazon. So this is a lovely Amazon packaging and it comes in like little strips and they're perforated here. So what you want to do, if you have this type of packaging, you want to take two of these sections of the perforated bit and then we just fold that in half so that gives you the size of the bag so let's just take this little bit off now let's just measure the height so this is nearly seven and a half inches or that's eight and a half centimeters um, and then lengthways we are 30 say about 38 centimeters or what's that 12 um, 13 14 about 15 inches so that's the sort of like size of your paper you want so if you you have some packaging that doesn't have the perforated bits that's the size you would need to sort of well to have the size of bags that I'm doing so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this and then I'm going to just glue these two pieces together so I'm going to just glue up the sides Oops, get this done. Just glue it together, make sure this top bits, just make sure the edges are glued around nicely. And then we'll just fold this over and make it nice and flat. Doesn't matter if you've got little wrinkly bits in it, it all adds to the character of your bag. Now, where this bit is open, this top bit is sort of like the open bit, what I'm going to do to reinforce it, I have got my craft tape. Okay, it's got a little bit stuck all over it from picking off my desk. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit. Now, if you don't have this craft tape, you can use masking tape or another thing that you could use to decorate the top there are some beautiful washi tapes around um, you could pop some lovely washi tape on here couldn't you Oops. Um, to decorate it which would look really lovely so I'm going to stick that over there let's just move this and then we will just put this like that Okay, so that is the lovely top bit reinforced. Let's just cut it off like this. Okay, so let's turn that round. So once that's done, we want to gesso it. Now I've got my big fan brush here. I'm going to pop some gesso just on it, just to um, give it a base. So I'm just going to go down. I have got some which I've already done so we don't have to wait for the gesso to dry. But do make sure it's dry. 
um, like that. So I'm doing the inside and the outside. So do both sides of your bag. So when you actually look into the bag, if you can see, it looks nice and gessoed as well. Um, it doesn't look sort of like a plain. And I think that it just gives that lovely, nice sort of like finishing touch to your to your work as well. So there we go. So that is a nice gessoed piece like that. And then that gives you a nice base to do whatever you like on it. You could just do that and you could print over the top of it. Um, if you don't have anything like napkins or anything, you could just print over there, stamp on it, um, do all sorts of things um, that you would like to, to do. Let me just get rid of this paper. Now, I have this beautiful napkin that we used for um, the envelopes, the mixed media envelopes that I did. And I just love it. So this is the what last piece that I've got left of the napkin that I was using. So I thought I might put that on the front. Um, this is the napkin for the flowered ones. Look at that. So I just took sort of like this section off to do the other one. But that's just beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I think I will probably use that one. Okay, I'm going to use one of these that's a little bit drier, which I've got here. That's This is nice and dry now. Which side shall we have? I don't think it really matters, does it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold these in. So they just, you want this in the middle of there, but just so they sort of overlap, just to make our little bag like that. And then we want to fold this piece up just so we know where we can decorate. So, now fold this up. I've just folded that up. What's that? One and a half inches or four centimeters. Okay, so then that's the bottom. So we now we need to sort of like decorate this piece here. Now I'm going to get some ink some of my distress ink and I'm just gonna just go over this as well like that and on the other side enough I think and then I'm going to open this back out again and I'm going to do a little bit of stamping now I've got my um, script stamp here you can get lots of script stamps everywhere now I do believe I've got one um, a link on my Amazon storefront as well what did we do with the little bird so I'm going to pop him on there so I can have it so it goes around that side as well just a little bit so we want to just stamp this section just gonna just pop a little bit over here like this this could just a little bit on there like that i think and then what I might do, I'm going to fold this up. So we're going to go this way. So if I stamp this like that, so then we can fold it over. So you don't, looks like there's no sort of, so it goes around completely. So I'll pop the lid on there, pop that to the side. I think I will probably, let me just pop a little bit of water on there. Just going to get rid of this bit down there like that, just so it's not so, not so much. I don't think we really need too much of this. Take a little bit more off. So we get rid of those straight lines like that. 
and then we just want the first one don't we just that top piece and to pop that on there beautiful little bird now I do have another one which is like a little a stamp here which I might add a little bit of that to as well it's just a sort of textured one on here just stamp that around A little bit of texture on there which is lovely so this doesn't have to go right to the bottom because we're going to fold this up um, to make the bottom piece so I'm going to stick that on there and I'm going to stick it on with our glue stick like this so lots and lots of glue on here now you can use the other one I used um, the matte medium on there so just stick this on where's my little brush gone here we go let's just stick this down if you stipple it down you know it's sort of like going to stick on there nicely without sort of like ripping it make sure I have enough glue let's pop a little bit more down here so just the same way as you would stick onto the envelopes so I think you probably know how to stick down some napkins now don't you so that's pretty good Make sure get rid of some of that sticky on here. Now I do like that. Look at that beautiful little bag, isn't it? Really pretty and delicate. Now I'm going to just quickly go over that with my heat gun just to see if I can get rid of some of that stickiness. There we go. And I'm going to just go over it again, just with a little bit of gesso, just a little bit, just picks up that texture. It almost looks like it's snowing on there, doesn't it? This, you could actually probably use this as a nice little Christmas bag. there we go that's lovely now I think I will pick out before I do that I've got my little um, words in here that we made let's see if we've got one on here that we could pop on there let's just fold this in let's fold this in and see what we've got that we made quite like a bigger one the world in the world where you can be anything, be kind. Should we put that one on there? That looks nice, doesn't it? And the colours match in there as well. I think we will have that one. Let's pop these back in here. I'll put I'll link the video down to these little words and phrases. The little tutorial, because I think that looks nice on there. Let's pop that to the side. So I don't forget. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just sew along this top bit so it gives it like a little edge on here. I've done a ziggy zaggy stitch on here. I don't know whether you can actually see that but it just sort of like finishes it off nicely and it almost makes this feel like, like a fabric um, which is lovely. Unless I put something lace or something over the top. Let me just see. See, I've got this white one, which would look pretty, wouldn't it? That would look quite nice, I think. If I lift it up, I could probably 
sew that around like that actually. Oh I like that, I think I will do that, just add a little bit extra to that. So let's just cut that off. Now shall we just pop a little bit of ink just to take that whiteness off it. Just ink it a little bit. That's a little bit better. Oh, I love that. Right, a little bit of Fabri-Tac. I'm going to just pop a little bit along here. Just a tiny bit because I am going to sew it. So let's sort of like go halfway, I think. So look halfway. Yes, and then we will ink the, not ink it, stick it this way. Perfect, and that will be the inside of the bag. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? I do like that. So this is a real simple sort of um, way to make a little bag, but a fun way because you can use your mixed media in there as well. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'm just going to sew all the way along the top of here just to keep that on there safely. Okay, so there we go. I've just sewn it along that top. Let's get, let's get rid of this thread here. Let's just tidy this up. Look this side. Perfect. So that looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? Right now, what we want to do is just fold these up together like that, and we will glue down this inner side here stick this down and then glue down this bit here stick those together perfect So lovely. Okay, so now what we want to do, this folds up. You fold that up. Let's do it this way around. So just fold that up and then you want to push these two pieces down just to make your bag. If that's right. And this corner in. And then Fold, you want to fold this piece over so it overlaps that, the, the, um, this piece here, and then fold this piece back. Oops, stick down. Alright, there we go. I think I will put that piece over the top. And then we just stick this down. So let's stick this little corner piece there. Just stick those two sides. Don't stick underneath that because you'll stick to the bottom of the bag. Now the bigger the if you want this bottom bit bigger, you need to fold it up a little bit higher. But I'm just gonna have little bags like this. So this one you have to stick along this top piece and here. And that will stick down like that. Don't need that piece, do we? Okay, there we go. So that is the bottom of our bag, like that. Which is perfect. And all I'm going to do now is just push these side pieces in a little bit. On this side. 
right. Oops. Just to bring them in, like a little bag. You don't have to, but this just folds in there like that. If I can do it properly. There we go. Oh, lovely little bag. Look at that. Oh, I think it's gorgeous and it sort of like tapers in just a little bit on this one. Okay, so now we need to know where to pop our little saying, which can be just there, can't you? Should we just stick you there? Open this out. You like that. Now again before you stick it all together you can add um, you can sew on this which I did on this one which I sewed the pocket on so before you stick it all together you can do your sewing and beforehand but look at that that's lovely so what I'm going to do now, it could be just a little bit further over, couldn't it? Just like that. Now we want to make our little handles. So we need to punch a hole in here. What should we have? Should we have this one? This is just a organza ribbon, which is a sort of like a beigey colour. And I think that will work really well. Now I'm just going to punch some holes in here. I don't want them to be too big because I want to do like a little knot on there. So we can just about see those. I might need my little pokey all just to make sure we've got a dizzy little hole in there. On this side. And this side right let's take a piece of ribbon how big should we have it say that big all depends how long how long you want your handle so what we want to do is take two pieces like this we want to poke it through the hole if we're going to get through like this Let's see. Poke that through there and then tie a knot like that. And by having such a, a small little hole, you don't have to do such a great big knot at the other side. So I'm just going to go around twice like that. Then we pop, pop this one through here. If that will go. Do a little knot. These would make beautiful little Christmas ones. You could have some pretty red ribbon on there, couldn't you? Red or green or a nice um, shiny gold or something. Depending on what you pop on the front. So look at that. Beautiful. Do love these. So this one will be going to my daughter's house, I think, when we go. Well, I'll probably be back by now anyway. By the time this video comes out, I will be, have been to Spain and back again. Because time just goes so quickly, doesn't it? Go. Let's tie that on. Chop that off, and then let's last one, and then this can just pop through there. Oops. Oh, there we go. We 
again use string you can, if you don't have any ribbon you can use string you can use all sorts of things um, as the little handles and there we go look at that doesn't that look beautiful I love it and then we could have a little bow shall we make a little bow to hang off here as well just I'm going to double this over I'm going to try and make a double bow to put on there if I can this is quite shiny so it's not easy to um, get hold of tell you what would be nice to do this would be some um, seam binding some beautiful seam binding would look nice wouldn't it that would be very shabby so let's just make this double bow okay let's cut these off a little diagonal there we go don't need these little bits there we are it's a nice little bow pop these like that we can just I think I will just probably stick that on stick that on there like that with a little bit of fabric tag pop that there and that will take a little while to dry because it's shiny ribbon um, and that will hold on so we will, I will pop a little clip on that in a minute but look at that doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure whoever you're going to give these to will absolutely love them now that I think looks really nice on there it just adds to the whole um, of the mixed media and recycling it's a really really lovely one so there we go guys that is your lovely video for today and I am just loving these so it's I've done this one I have done the lovely blue one so again you can pop your tags in there and if you wanted to make a little notebook you can pop a little notebook in there which would match I have this beautiful one which I absolutely love and then I have just this one so if you don't have any napkins you can just pop a lovely little journaling card on the top as well and a little bit of gesso or you can use white paint but it's a lovely way to use up all your lovely recycling paper so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed that thank you so so much for joining me um, have a fantastic rest of the day and I will see you soon all right guys take care bye bye